there's a really cool feature in Hardops that not many people know about and is this one asset loader now Hardops in general has a link to multiple add-ons and you can actually check this here on the preferences if you go to Hardops and if you pop to add-ons you can see how many add-ons are actually linked with Hardops now they don't come with Hardops but if you enable them and you know load them to your blender you will see that the icon will change from a triangle to this disk so i got all these add-ons loaded not sure why box cutter is not working because it's here so that's funny but uh, maybe it's bugged but anyway all these right now some of them you can find in the menu and some of them you can find through the asset loader so let me show you for example if i had a cube here and i had some bevel on it I could run a mesh machine star connect tool. Hang on, let's go. I think it was mesh machine or machine tools. Let me just turn off box cutter. There we go. Um, I, one of these two, I can't remember which one. But so I go to Q menu operations and you can run star connect. This is from mesh machine or machine tools. You got the entire mesh machine menu here as well. And if you have cable rotor, you can load it too. So it's quite interesting. But um, what I want to show you is this asset loader. So now by default, if you click this and you have decal machine installed, you're going to get this decal machine pop up, which I think it's terrible, by the way. I really don't like it. I wouldn't use it. It's clunky. The D menu is much better. And in addition, now we don't use decal machine anymore because we are using our add-on material works. And, you know, we can use decals and trim sheets through that add-on. You don't have to update decals anymore. It's much easier. But if you want to bake decals, decal machine is still a thing, so use that if you need that. And all the links, by the way, are in the video description. But what I want to show you is actually this asset loader with Ketops, because that's what I really like using. So if you hold Alt and click and you have Ketops installed, by the way, you can get the free Ketops just to try it out. And if you install Ketops inserts, you're going to have access to all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, what I want to show you is the inserts from Master Zeon. It's a free insert pack on Gumroad. And, you know, Master Zeon is the creator of uh, Hardops and Boxcutter. And these are fantastic and I love them. Whenever I'm modeling some, something that requires screws, I'm just going to, you know, grab one, add insert and I'm good to go. And I usually use it in Blender 4.3, so in the copy of them, I'm just going to, you know, pop to Blender 4.4 and simply, you know, copy it in here and I'm good to go. Now, some of these inserts come with, uh, where is this Blender here? Some of these inserts come with names and, uh, you know, you need to remove them. So let me show you, right? Uh, if I add this one, for example, right, you'll see it's going to come with a name, which is really annoying. Uh, so you can turn it off here by going to vi uh, viewport display and toggle this off Other thing you need to pay attention to is if you go to edit mode Some of these inserts have missing features. So for example uh, The one I edit here this one if you go to edit mode You see the middle is gonna be missing So what you want to do is press alt H in edit mode to unhide it and you're good to go I think they were just simply saved with this, you know top part missing for whatever reason and there you go, and there you have tons of inserts, and these are, like I said, they're free, and they're fantastic to use. I've been using them for years, and they're really brilliant. So I recommend you, you know, plug in Kitops, install this, and then you can use it with Hardops, easy peasy. So there you go. And if you want to learn more about Hardops and Box Cutter, grab our course, The Ultimate Guide to Hardops and Box Cutter 2.0, which is fantastic. It covers everything, all the menus, all the tools, even all these advanced settings in here, which most people have no idea what they, you know, what they do, but they're really important and some of them are really, really, you know, interesting. All these menus I explain, hardups menus, all this nonsense. So, you know, there's just a lot to talk about and you got the modeling section as well. This course is the best source of knowledge on these channels in the market. There's simply no even, nothing comes close. YouTube videos, documentation, this is just simply not good enough. Documentation, by the way, is outdated. So there you go. So this is the only place when you can actually learn about these add-ons, you know, properly, right? And, and actually understand what they do and how to use them. So if you want to use them to full advantage, that's your best bet. So hop on our website and grab it. The links are in the video description and in the comment pinned under the video. And if you're new to Blender and you're still struggling with the basics, then 
you should start with the hard surface accelerator which will teach you everything you need to know about basics of blender the menus the tools the workflow you know principles of design so in short it will teach you how to model and how to feel confident in blender and then the hard ops course is kind of like a step up so when you learn the basics and you understand what the hell is going on then you can grab the hard ops course okay all the links are in the video description and in the comment pin under the video thanks for watching and i see you in the next one